now, so please don't get tired of it. Mm -hmm. Now, um, uh, a few months back, um, Will Smith walked up to a stage while millions of viewers were watching and slapped um, Chris Rock, a comedian. He slapped mm -hmm. Chris Rock. I don't know if you remember that incident. Yeah. But uh, many people clamored for the police in that city to arrest um, Will Smith and um, prosecute him for assault. But the police made a statement. They said, we would not arrest uh, Will Smith unless Chris Rock files um, a charge against him, files a complaint. That's the way it works too. This is serious. The number that was found in late Kambili Chuku's phone, Queen May Edoche's son, that passed away in a tragic way, in a mysterious manner. Everybody attached to that phone number, they are being invited. They are being called upon right now. They must face and explain. They must face the law. That is just it. You see, they went as far as MTN, digging deep to find out who is this person. It is very, very important that they dig deeper. And they also did something. They made sure that most of the information, the investigation is kept secret so that call from one person to the other to inform each other will not happen. The police said we must get to the root of the matter. Welcome back. Welcome once again. It is very important that you listen from the beginning till the end. You heard what the PPRO said. Benjamin Udeni, did you hear? Now, we are still going to go deep into what he has to say. But first, you need to know that this video must go viral. You must like and share it. Very important. And subscribe to this channel if you are new here. Now, it is no longer news at all that the phone number of Juju Judy Austin, some have called her a no-go bag of rice. They have called her 50 kg. They have said a lot. Well, I'm just giving you those names so you know who we are talking about. Judy Austin's phone number was found inside of late Kambili Chuku's phone. Yes, this is for real. Found there. This information dropped on our desk. If you've not been on this channel or you've not been watching some of our videos, we've done some series about it. Now, it is no longer news. This was brought and this shocked me. Queen May Edoche, she could not phantom. She could not had one and one together to make two. How did this happen? What brought about this number in my son's phone? Was she contacting my children? Was she contacting Kambeli behind? What happened? This is not right. Now, you heard the explanation. And if you have not, go back again and listen from the beginning of this video. You heard what Udain said. Police PPRO. PPRO. Benjamin Udain. Did you hear what he said? He said, if a case has not been brought or reported to us, particularly like that of Will Smith, where the old world saw an offense, a crime committed. If the individual involved in it has not come out to petition or to report, we cannot act in this capacity. There are certain crimes that the police will get involved in it even if there is no report. Now, Charges needs to be pressed. And he's saying that charges have not been pressed because people have been running Elta Skelter when they see the inspector, when they see the PPRO, sorry, and Benjamin Udeni. They are like, in fact, they've been sending him a lot of messages on social media platform from Twitter to Instagram to Facebook. They said, haven't you seen this enormous, these big, big evidences? Is it not enough for you to act? And he came out to respond by saying, look, we cannot. That is why that video is there. That video is to let you know that the police cannot act in certain capacity unless you go to report and ask them to investigate or you go and present your investigation and they will reinvestigate the investigation that you have brought forward. 
So, this is the answer to a lot of people who are wondering why. Why certain individuals have not been arrested? Why has she not been called? Why has she not been invited? Why is this and that? Have you heard? This is what it is. So, so, so the response that we have is that Mr. Yu has not come forward to say, please investigate. We are having suspects. We are having suspicion. This is a suspect. Investigate this individual. In investigate Judy. Investigate that. Nobody. The father of the deceased has not come forward to ask for an investigation. Now, I know it is going to be very difficult. This is not just a girlfriend. Both of them have children between them. And we even heard that there is another one forming, already coming, making it two. How are you going to do this? Are you going to lock up or ask the police to investigate the mother of your children? But people are saying, this is dangerous. Mister, if you are not careful, your first family will expire from the beginning to the end. Do not allow mass expiring or deleting happen. Take action. Take action now before it's too late. Take action. These are the advices that a lot of people have been giving to Yul Edoche. And they are saying that Yul Edoche has not permitted or allowed anyone to do anything. He just locked everything down. Yes, for real. According to what the police is saying, according to what landed on our decks, what we know, they said he just notified the police that his son is dead. End of story. He is not asking for any investigation. He is not asking for anything at all. No coronary investigation. Nothing. My son is dead. Full stop. I just want to tell you. End of story. But this is not going anywhere. Why? I told you at the beginning, I said, Judy Austin's phone number was found in the phone, in the phone of late Kambili Chuku. And, you know, professionals, experts looked deep into it and questions were asked from Daniela. That is the first child of me and Yule Doche. Do you know this number? She said, no. Okay. They searched and they know that numbers on the contacts, the registry of this late young star, Kambili, is what they know already. They know the contact. They know who is, but they don't know who this strange number is. So they invited me. Me. Who? Is this person that owns this number? She said, I don't know. And they told Mr. Yu, you look at this number. Do you know who this person is? He kept quiet. He said, it's okay. And I will look into it. And I will find out about it. Don't worry. Hmm. Now, there is another shocking development. When the investigation went further, they said that Judy Austin registered that number on our own sister name now you see how these things are you know numbers are registered in nigeria unless you want to cut corners somehow but your name your identity everything is registered to your sim they said this is to cut down crime now i don't want to go into the big big thing of it if truly they are really cutting down crime they would have gone to catch some terrorist you know fulani men, terrorists in general who will call but somehow they cannot be traced. Maybe those people are using someone else's identity. But let us leave that. So, when they checked, they realized that that number is registered to Judy Austin's sister. Are you not surprised? Can you see? Can you see how things work out to be? Do you see how things turn out to be? Well, eventually, it has been connected to Judy Austin. The Austinians family. It has been connected to them at the end of the day. Now, this investigation was done secretly and it was not told to Yul. If not, Yul probably would have found a way to block it, but he could not block this one. So, finally, as the investigators have realized that this number is connected to the Mogalus, the, the, the Judy, Judy, Juju, Juju people, well, there is nowhere 
and know how to hide again. Well, as you all know, there are a lot of people who are praying, there are a lot of people who are pained about this incident. And it seems their prayer somehow is answering no, because evidences that are coming out are 10 over 10. No. Positive evidences are coming out to finally nail the culprit of this crime. Well, like I told you, this information came out 35 minutes ago. They had to go to the neighboring country, Ghana, for them to track using MTN Ghana to find out the location, to know the whereabouts and how to get the track records of this particular SIM card, this number. So, as it is right now, Wahala, 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 don't enter Judy Austin, no. This is countdown, countdown. They say, wicked people will not go unpunished. That is just what it is. If your hand is inside, if your hand is in it, you must collect. What are your thoughts? Like, share this video, subscribe to this channel if you're new here.